Karen Jekyll Life. Hi guys, welcome to my channel and today in this video lecture we are going to discuss monitors and conditional synchronization. So guys, in this lecture we will discuss what is conditional synchronization and to explain it I will be taking example of bounded buffer problem or like some authors also call it as producer consumer problem and in the later part of this lecture we will be discussing what are monitors and what they, how do they ensure conditional synchronization. So guys, for the full lecture, all of you stay tuned. So guys, the first thing which comes is conditional synchronization. Now, what is conditional synchronization? Guys, now all of you are aware of concurrent programming and concurrent programming environment in which multiple threads, they run at the same time or they run concurrently, they run at the same time. And we know like, to ensure like our data is in consistent state or our system is in inconsistent state so we need to synchronize them we need to synchronize them so guys when we synchronize our threads based upon some condition when we synchronize our threads based upon some condition then it is called as conditional synchronization then it is called as conditional synchronization so now to explain it so we'll be taking example of producer consumer or bounded buffer problem. Now what is bounded buffer problem? In bounded buffer problem, we have a buffer of fixed size. We have a buffer of fixed size. For example, in this case, we'll take a buffer with five slots. One, two, three, one, two, three, four and five. One, two, three, four and five. So what is this? This is my buffer. Now, the size of this buffer is fixed. Now suppose we have two threads. We have two threads. Producer thread, I call it as TP, thread producer. And we have consumer thread, I call it as TC. Okay. Now the question is, now the question is whether the producer thread can run forever or whether the consumer thread can run forever okay before we answer the question the job of the producer is to produce items and put it in the buffer and the job of the consumer is to consume items to remove the items from the buffer okay for example the producer has produced a b c d e okay so then the consumer it has consumed e d c d a so they both are running so they both are ready producer is producing something consumer is consuming something now the question is whether the producer can run forever yes or no the answer to this question is no why because the size of my buffer is fixed the size of my buffer is fixed for example producer has put five items a b c d e now the buffer is full then the producer cannot run then the producer cannot run because there is no space in the buffer to put the more items. Now second question, can consumer can always run? The answer to that question also is no. Why? For example, if consumer has consumed E, D, C, B, A. Now the buffer is empty. Now the buffer is empty. Now since the buffer is empty, there are no items which consumer can consume. Okay, now this problem is called as bounded buffer problem or this pro problem is called as producer consumer problem. Okay, now with this problem, we can explain the concept of conditional synchronization. Now, what is conditional synchronization? Before we explain, so what are the conditions of the producer to run? The condition for the producer to run is there must be space. There must be a space in the buffer. And what is the condition for the consumer to run? The condition for the consumer to run is there must be an element in the buffer so that the consumer can consume it. Okay. Now, when the producer should run and when the producer should stop depends upon the condition of this buffer. Depends upon the condition of this buffer. Suppose there is a place in the buffer, then the producer can run. Okay, and when producer should stop, when the buffer is full, when the buffer is full, the producer must wait. The producer must wait. It must wait for what? 
इट मस्ट वेट फॉर द कंज्यूमर टू कंज्यूम सम आइटम्स टू रिमूव सम आइटम्स फ्रॉम द बफर सो द कंडीशन फॉर द प्रोड्यूसर टू रन इज देयर मस्ट बी अ स्पेस इन द बफर ओके नो वेदर द प्रोड्यूसर विल रन और वेदर द कंज्यूमर विल रन इट इज डिपेंडेंट अपॉन द कंडीशन ऑफ द बफर फॉर एग्जाम्पल द कंडीशन ऑफ बफर नाउ इज फोर कैन प्रोड्यूसर रन नो प्रोड्यूसर हैज टू वेट देन हु कैन रन कंज्यूमर कैन रन कंज्यूमर कैन रन सो वट कंज्यूमर विल डू कंज्यूमर विल रिमूव द आइटम्स फ्रॉम द बफर नो द कंडीशन ऑफ माई बफर चेंजेस फ्रॉम फुल टू एम टी सो वेन द कंडीशन ऑफ माई बफर चेंजेस फ्रॉम फुल टू एम टी देन हु शुड वेट then my consumer should wait then my consumer should wait and what producer can do is now producer can stop waiting and producer can run again a b c d e again the condition of my buffer changes from empty to full isn't it when again my buffer becomes full then what producer has producer has to wait and what my consumer can do my consumer can run okay now guys depending upon the condition of my buffer depending upon the condition of my buffer either the producer can wait or producer can run similarly depending upon the condition of my buffer either consumer can wait or consumer can run okay so who will run who will wait okay is depending upon the condition of my buffer and guys okay we synchronize both the producer and consumer okay in such a way so that whenever the buffer is full producer tells the consumer to run and whenever the buffer is empty consumer tells the producer to run and guys this thing is called as conditional synchronization now here both producer and consumer are synchronized based upon some condition on my buffer if condition full consumer will run if buffer full consumer will run if buffer empty producer will run so this is called as conditional synchronization and this problem is called as bounded buffer problem why do we call it bounded buffer because the size of my buffer is fixed the size of my buffer is fixed so we must synchronize producer and consumer based upon the condition of my buffer so we call it as conditional synchronization now next part of our tutorial that is called as monitors that is called as monitors now what are monitors so guys all the languages they have some features embedded with them some features come with them so what is a monitor monitor is the feature which is provided by some programming language which ensures conditional synchronization which ensure conditional synchronization basically what is the job of monitor the job of monitor is to monitor something is to observe something so what i what is a monitor in a monitor i can declare my buffer under something called as monitor okay then monitor will control the access to this buffer the monitor will control the access to this buffer depending upon the condition of buffer depending upon the condition of my buffer okay now suppose in this case my buffer is already full so what monitor will do what monitor will do monitor will put the producer thread to wait the producer thread to wait and it will send a signal and it will send a signal to the consumer thread to run it will send a signal to the consumer thread to run okay so after the consumer thread has run so what consumer will do it will change the condition of buffer it will make buffer empty now the buffer becomes empty so then what monitor will do then monitor will tell the consumer to wait okay and it will send a signal to producer okay you wait 
you get the signal and you start filling the buffer and you start filling the buffer so what monitors do they control the access to this buffer by both the threads who will run who will wait who will wait who will run that is decided by the monitor and this buffer is under the control of the monitor and depending upon the condition of the buffer they will let one of these thread run and they will put another one of these threads on the wait state this is the job of the monitors and monitors they ensure conditional synchronization so guys i hope this is clear to you so guys i have already uploaded some uh, basic lectures of concurrent programming you can see them in the playlist called as it lectures and with this uh, we in this lecture i explain you conditional synchronization bounded buffer problem and monitors and monitors so guys i hope you understand that and again guys if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel please share my videos with your friends okay and all of you thanks for watching and stay tuned